have a Samsung Galaxy A11 here, and I'm gonna show you how to transfer photos and videos and other files as well directly from your A11 to a MacBook or Apple computer simply by using the charging cable. Okay, so this is a USB um, USB A to a USB Type C. So first thing is let me type let me plug in the USB A into my MacBook here, and the next thing is. Now, before I plug this in, now this isn't a Windows computer. If you have a Windows computer and you plug it in, it recognizes it right away. However, on a MacBook, it's just a little bit different. The easiest way to transfer file, uh, videos and files uh, without using um, iTunes, I, I, I can't stand iTunes, but if you download and install this Android file transfer, I'll have a link below in the description for you to download and install that. Once you install that, it'll show up down here. It'll always show up down here, this little Android guy. Now, every time you plug it in, it'll just be like a Windows a computer okay so don't forget look in the link below and this is for um, for, for uh, Mac OS okay supports uh, Mac computers and uh, Apple computers so now I'm gonna go ahead and just plug the a11 in here make sure you're signed in here and you should get like a message that pops up here it says allow access to this phone data click on allow and then this popped up okay this window here, just click on OK. And if it all disappears, there's no problem. As long as it's connected, just go back to the Android file uh, icon right here. Just click on that, and there you go. And then from here, for uh, photos and videos, if you look under the DCIM folder, so go ahead and double click on that. And then you want to double click on camera, okay? And these are where all my photos and videos that I've taken with this, okay? You might have other uh, folders below it, like uh, screenshots, and if you Anyway, I'll just double click on camera. Now these are, I just took a few uh, photos and one video here, okay? So these are, um, so from here what I can do is I can go ahead and save this directly not to my MacBook or Apple computer. Like for instance, here's a JPEG here, which is a photo. You, you know the video when the extension is like MP4. So if this photo I wanted to save on the um, this MacBook, I can just drag and drop it right onto the desktop. And you can see it right there. Or what I typically do is just make a folder here. I'll create a folder and I'll call this one A11. And then I can go ahead and select whichever I want. Let me just do everything here. I'll do the whole shebang. I'll highlight all the photos and videos I have in here. I'll drag and drop it right into the A11 folder I just made on my desktop. Let it transfer, it's done. Now this is on the hard drive of my MacBook. I'll double click on that. And you can see right there and I'll go ahead and unplug the A11 and there you go. So now I can go ahead and edit these photos or I can put the video into my editing program and edit. So pretty simple. Questions, issues, comment below. Good luck.